What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J. So for the last few days, we have been desperately trying to get on some fish and we have not been successful at that. We've gone, we traveled all over Arkansas actually trying to catch them. And there's been a few different factors that have been factoring into us not catching any. It's been very warm here in the state and we've also been having a lot of lake drawdowns which has kind of got the fish kind of in a funk. And we just, like we said, we've been off of them. We have not been catching much of anything at all. Not worth putting a video together at least. So. What we've done against our will is travel back to this giant spillway that we have been fishing quite a bit recently. We're here because we need to get a bite and we need some much needed fishing mojo moving into next week because we don't want another week like we had this past week. No. It's been very rough. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna head down there. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Hopefully some big old slab crop here down there today. I don't know, we've been catching some little ones down there, but hopefully we can get some big ones because that's what we need. Also, we're excited about today's fishing trip because we got some new rods in the mail a couple days ago that we're eager to try out. So let's get down there and let's see if we can catch some big ones. trip off we just got here and i've already got a keeper yeah it's a really nice solid <laughs> black crappie what color did he eat he ate this one. Oh, he ate the little orange and chartreuse little guy Look yeah at that. that's a cute little jig hey good job jay give me some let's get some more oh we got one i thought i was hung up on a rock There's my second fish of the day, and this one's gonna be a little bit short, but hey, I think we're off to a good start. We've literally just been here for like five minutes. We've already got two crappie. That's exciting. Oh, I got another one. Oh, this is a good one, I think. Yeah. Look at that. We got our second keeper of the day. I'm really liking this fast action so far. Um, hopefully we can keep it up and fill this bucket up. Yeah, that's a nice white crappie. Yeah. I think the first one's a black crappie. Yeah. And he, what color sure. was, he on, was he on the chartreuse? Yeah. Okay. So we got one on the orange chartreuse and one on just the straight chartreuse. That's fantastic. Why didn't give him a toss? purple <laughs> but not much see ya fish on your boy is hooked up this first fish not a big one but it's the first crappie i've caught in a minute jay's done already caught like three Woo. tiny little black crappie to get started got him on the orange and chartreuse little pepper tube just barely felt him thump it probably because he was a tiny fish i want to catch a keeper like jay and really to be completely honest with you guys i want to catch something big <laughs> i don't care what it is i just want to catch something big like that rock that felt good for a second rock felt good a big old rock just kidding don't want to catch a big old rock i want to catch a big old slab crappie or a drum Catfish, buffalo, something big. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. I think I got a decent one. I think we got a decent one. Not bad. Not bad. Not quite a keeper, but not bad at all. I'll take that. Solid Woo. white crappie. We'll see you in back. There we go. What do we got here? Is, is that a slab? Hey, y'all! 
Check it out. Oh gosh, don't get away. I think this is gonna be my biggest one of the day so far. So he is definitely going in the bucket. Woo! Dang it. Woo! What the heck? Okay, I did not even feel this fish bite. Didn't even feel the bite. Just lifted up my rod and he was swimming with it. But he's gonna be a little short, just a little small guy. See ya. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That looks like a keeper. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I dropped him in this hole. Don't, don't leave me, no. That was close. Oh my goodness, it scared me. All right, sorry buddy, I meant to put you in this bucket. <laughs> Well guys, things are going kind of okay, but not super great all at the same time. Jay has had a pretty good little rally at the very beginning. She caught like 10 fish. I think she got like four keepers, which was awesome. And I thought that we were gonna catch a whole bunch, but the bite had just fizzled out on us. I only caught like three or four crappie. They were all small, nothing fancy, no big ins, no big nothing. <laughs> Didn't even get hung up. So <laughs> it's just not going well over here. We only have about 30 minutes of daylight left and we're gonna try to maximize the time we do have left by going up to the top of the dam and then crawling down to the front side where we fished in the last video and see if there's any crappie hanging out there on the front side. I'm not sure if there are or not, but I think if we stay here, we're just gonna be disappointed with the results because we're not getting bit anymore. It's been about 30 minutes without a bite and we ain't got time for that. So we're gonna go to the new spot. We'll catch you guys when we get there. Well, as you guys can see, we did not make it down to that second spot yesterday afternoon. We were going across the dam, looked down, we saw some anglers down there fishing the spot we were going to fish. So we just decided to call it and head back to the house and get some rest after a long days of fishing, which you guys did not see as we tried fishing three different spots that day all across the state. And we had to go back to our trusty spillway to get the job done. Although we didn't catch that many, Jay secured four keeper crappie for <laughs> us to clean and have for lunch today, and that's exciting. And so I'm gonna show you guys a different way you can clean fish. I usually just fillet them with an electric knife or the hand knife, um, but we're just gonna clean these guys an old traditional way. We're just gonna scale them, cut the heads off, clean them whole, and fry them up that way. It's gonna be delicious. And these guys aren't super big, super slabby, so they make perfect candidates for that clean job. So let me show you guys how that works. We'll put our little mini slab here on the cutting board, and I grabbed my knife first. Don't want the knife first. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a big, tablespoon. That's a really nice spoon for what we're about to do. Nice and cupped. And so what you're going to do is you're going to hold your slab down. You can hold him by the mouth. You can just put your hand on his head and you're going to rake these scales off of the body from the tail to the head, just like this. And of course, a bigger, more cuffy spoon is going to make quicker work of this, but this is a really fast process anyways. So we got all the scales off that side, flip the fish over, put the scales off here. And you could definitely do this with larger crappie or any game fish that you catch, but we just prefer to do it with smaller crappie most of the time. Okay, we've got all the scales off. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut the head off. You'll just stick it right here at his butt. Cut, angled to the top of his head. Move the head, throw it in your gut bucket. And then what's inside is just a few guts. Reach in there, pull those out. And then we gotta rinse these scales off, but basically we are done. You saw how fast and quick and easy that was. And we have a nice whole fish that we can clean. Now this guy has bones, obviously we have to pick around, but it's really gonna be delicious. And it has a little bit of a different flavor when you clean them this way, so really good. We got three fish left to clean. Let's get them cleaned up real quick and get them ready to cook. All right, right here, ready to cook the fish. We're gonna be frying these guys up like I mentioned earlier, and let's show you guys the way we're gonna make them extra crispy and extra delicious, because frying whole fish can be difficult at times. So we've got some flour, we've got some cornmeal flour mix, we've got some eggs that we've whisked up, we have our fish, and we have our secret spice, the Sloppy Mama, and we have our reservoir here full 
of hot grease, it's ready to go. So we're gonna start off by putting all of our whole fish into this bag of flour. We're gonna get them all evenly coated. I think they'll all fit in there. We got them all rinsed up real nice in the sink. And we're just gonna shake this up, jostle them around a little bit, get them all covered up. All right, then we got phase one complete. Let me move this bowl out of the way. And now the kicker is we are going to then take our fish. Ooh, we're gonna kind of shake off some of the excess. It's kind of crazy. Covered in flour and we're gonna dip it in our egg whisk. So we're just trying to get that as covered up as possible. I just kind of, I'm just gonna get a little bit messy. We'll rinse off in a minute. <laughs> we want these fish to be nice and crispy and delicious. Okay, so that's, a little, that's, that's the messy part. And then we're gonna throw them into our cornmeal flour mix here. You can use any sort of fish fry. This is what we had on hand. We were out of our favorite fish fries, but this is a very delicious way to cook them. And then we'll just give them another jostling around inside the Ziploc bag. And let's see what he looks like. And that, my friends, is a well-coated whole fish. This guy's gonna be super crispy, I feel like and the egg yolk is gonna keep everything all combined, everything stuck together. And I think this is hot enough, we'll just drop him in there and see if he sizzles, sizzles or not. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. How about it? And now we'll just repeat the steps with our other fish. The worst part about this is definitely the egg yolk getting all over your hands and the flour getting all stuck to your fingers, but I promise you guys, if you're not doing this already, it's definitely worth it. Like if you're cooking your fish and you're not getting it crispy enough the way you like it, just dunk it in and give it an egg wash bath like this and it will be super crispy. Let's get our first dish out and let's add our next three. Dang, that dude that looks, looks good. good. Man, that sucker is golden. Here, let's lay him on the towel so we can really look at it. Is he on both sides? Oh, look at that. Perfectly golden, crisp, crunchy. That's gonna eat good. Let's get our other three in the fryer and then we'll let that guy cool off and we'll give him a taste test. While these guys are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a taste test because I honestly just can't wait much longer. It's kind of cold outside and it's cooled it off well enough already. So if you've ever eaten the fish this way, we'll show you guys how to kind of pull it apart. So first we'll just take the bottom fin off. Oh man, look at how flaky and juicy that looks. Wow. Then we'll take the top fin off. And you can actually, here let me show you guys something. You can actually nibble on these fins. It's kind of like eating a potato crisp. You just go, Mmm. <laughs> this tastes like the fish batter, but some people love it. Some people think it's kind of weird. I think I love it. <laughs> Anyways, so then you have your two pieces on each side, your fillets, and you'll just kind of pull them off. So you can kind of see where it's creased in the middle. You just kind of just fold that in half. Ooh, it's hot on the inside. Ow. Oh, it's hot, boy. Hold on a second, let me get this for it. I'm gonna kind of butcher it a little bit. Anyways, so that's kind of what you're kind of pulling off. You have some of the skin that's fried up and you're pulling off pieces of the filet. And man, that is steaming. That's gonna be good on this okay. cold morning. Here, let's do it. Ready? Here, hold on a second. Hold on a second, we need a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> Dang, that's fresh, man. Wow. That is so good. It's it's a nice like change of pace. Like we've been like we've been filleting fish like crazy, you know, eating the fillets, frying them up, and this just has a different taste to it. It has more flavor. I feel like it's because it has the bone in. You know, with everything, when you leave the bone in, it gives it more flavor. That's really good. You know, some fish maybe you don't want more of the fish flavor, but for crappie, you want all the flavor you can get. Definitely a way that I recommend you cleaning and preparing your fish next time if you haven't done this already. Jay, you gotta get a bite of this. Now, Jay, you gotta be honest with the folks at home. Tell them that this is not your normal preferred way of eating crappie fillets. <laughs> it's not. I normally like to eat boneless fillets, but this does look pretty dang good. Yeah, it's it's really good, and there's no bones in that. Jay just doesn't like to eat around the bones, which I don't blame her for that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Yeah? Oh my goodness. That's good. You caught that fish. You provided for the family yesterday. Well, you know, flab queen. Oh my goodness. That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's, That's good. so crunchy. Yeah. Mm. 
You I'll, guys definitely have to try it this way. This is so good. And meanwhile, these guys, they look ready. We gotta get those guys out. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at those. Look at that. That is some good eating right there. This fish lunch is gonna be so good and it would not be possible without Jay's professional crappie angling skills. Well, a slab queen's gotta do what a slab queen's gotta do. That's right. Let's I mean, feed the fam. Gotta feed the fam. <laughs> hey, so thank you so much for catching those fish yesterday, Jay. Sorry I couldn't help you out more. And we just wanna say thank you to each and every one of y'all that hung out with us today. Um, it was kind of a struggle to get to where we did. We're glad we were able to successfully catch a few fish for y'all. It was a lot of fun. Nonetheless, it's always fun getting out and filming these adventures for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're, we're Colin Jay, and we'll see ya on the next episode. Bye guys. Ooh.